Have you ever done a science experiment and wondered what it'd be like if you did it big? I have. <laughs> yeah! My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. Science Max! Today's episode is about friction. How can I hang on to this rope without falling? Can we reduce it so we can slide around? I'm going towards the wall! Can we increase it so I can climb a wall? Ha <laughs> I did it! <laughs> can I use it to fly? Yup! Friction, today on Science Max Experiments at Large. Hey, Science Maximites, I, I, ah! Ugh, slippery, but that's okay, because today we're talking about friction. Friction is a force that is everywhere and happens when any one thing rubs against any other thing. We do lots of things to increase friction, like uh, like wear shoes with big treads on them. And we can do things to reduce friction, like the experiment we're doing today. We're gonna build a hover disc, and it's very easy. You take some cardboard and cut it into a circle, just like this. Then put a hole in the middle of the circle. You might want an adult to help you with that. And then take a plastic drink bottle cap, like this. I like the ones, you use the ones that uh, you get on sport bottles because they have a little nozzle that pops open or closed. And then you glue it around the circle and you get this. Then you need a balloon. So you blow up your balloon. I know you know that step. And then twist the balloon so it doesn't get away from you. When it's nice and twisted, you can stick it over the drink bottle cap like this and then untwist it. And this is why I like to use the plastic drink bottle caps that come from sport bottles because you can open it when you want. And when you do, your disc rides on a cushion of air, reducing the friction with the table, and it's almost like it's sliding on ice. You can also use CDs if you want to do a different design. Just make sure you're using CDs you never want to listen to again. Now, if any of this is too fast, don't worry. You can always go to the Science Max website where we have all of the instructions. And now, it's time to max it out. We're going to see if we can make a human-sized, rideable, low-friction hover disk. I'm going to the Ontario Science Center where hopefully I have an expert that can help me. Door is stuck. I think there's a little bit too much friction with it. No. That's got it. Oh no, this isn't the science center. Did I go back in time again? Oh. Uh, it is the science center. Uh, hi, Elena, hi. Hey, Phil, you're here to see the hover disk. Yes, please. All right, come on, right this way. So I made one in the lab that uh, works pretty great. It's on cardboard and it has a balloon. Mm -hmm. The one you have here works on the same principle? Yeah, it does. But you know what? My friend Russell has some ideas about making something like this, but even bigger. Do you think we can make one big enough to ride? Maybe, yeah. yeah. All right, well, let's take a look at the one you have here. Oh, I see. Right, this one works the same as the one I made. It's really hard to move the disc, but if you add some air, it floats like a dream. There we go. Great, so let's ride it. Whoa, whoa, Phil, not this one, the one upstairs. You can ride that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Should we bring this one just in no, case? No, that's, we... it's a little heavy. I think we can leave it there. What if we need it for reference? No, I, I'm sure we'll be okay. It is pretty heavy. Yeah, but... let's, come on, let's right. go. Russell's are, are made you, it. Are you sure we won't I'm need it? I'm positive. Okay, but if we have to come back, I get to say I told you so. Okay. All right. Hey, Ramona, you change your hair? Yeah, it's nice. It's like doing this now, but used to be used to, but now it's yeah. I like it. You should give me the name of your guy, cause I wanted to. Hey, oh, hey, how are you? You ever think to yourself, no matter what I do, I can't seem to get anywhere. I can't, I can't get enough traction. Well, you, my friend, need some more friction. Which one of these two shoes has more friction? Hmm? Take a closer look. Huh? Huh? Right. Bam. This one, this one doesn't have a lot of treads. It doesn't have a lot of friction. 
but this one, it's got metal spikes on the bottom. This is called a cleat, and the spikes are for helping you grip onto the grass when you're playing soccer or golf, increasing its friction. Why do you think skis are smooth on the bottom? Come on, look at that. It's so smooth and, and glidey. My hand just, I can barely even touch the surface. It just slides right off. It's sort of glidey and smooth. They're smooth to help you glide across the snow, reducing their friction. Why doesn't this box slide down this ramp? Friction. This roller skate has wheels. Wheels reduce friction. But when I push the roller skate, how come it doesn't just keep rolling forever and ever and ever and ever? And going all the way around the world and writing a memoir. Say it with me. Friction, louder. Friction, can't hear you. Friction, little too loud. Friction, ease it back. Friction. How can I hang onto this rope without falling? Friction. How can I, how can I jump down on the floor without falling over. Friction. And now you know your friction. Your friction. Your, your friction. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh oh, uh, Ramona, the friction sign is broken. <laughs> Reset. Uh-oh. The plan is to take our small hover disc and make one big enough to ride. So I'm off with Helena to another part of the Science Center to meet Russell, who has some ideas on how we can do it. Oh, hey, Russell. Hey, hi, Helena. Hey, Phil. How you doing, Russell? How you doing, Phil? So this is the hover disc. This is our small hover disc, yes. How does it work? Well, um, obviously, you sit on here. Right. Air will go into here. It gets vented through all these separate holes here, so we get an airflow over the entire area. But hopefully, this will work to, to pick someone up. All we need is air. Oh, well, that's easy, because the, the small one worked like this. So um, I'll just, we just put the balloon on, right? I hope you got the uh... OK, so we put the balloon. On the... Uh, hold on, hold no. on, hold on. Larger oh, balloon! Oh, okay. Ah, sorry, sorry. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh-oh, twist it so it doesn't... Uh, he's losing his air! All right. On again. Hello. You grab right. one side, I'll grab the other. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. here we go. Go. It's not, it doesn't uh, feel way too much friction. It doesn't friction feel like no. there's, there's a, it still feels pretty frictiony. I think, uh, I think we might need something more than a balloon. So what do we do? Well, I think we need more consistent air coming through here. Okay. So not a balloon. Not a balloon, something, I don't know, opposite to a vacuum cleaner? Opposite to a vacuum cleaner. That would be a, uh, like a leaf blower. Like a leaf blower. A leaf yes. blower. High five. Yeah. Awesome idea. Yeah, yeah, so why don't we make a couple larger uh, discs and we'll hook some leaf blowers to them and, and we'll see what happens. Definitely give it a go. Okay, great. Carbon is an atom and is the basic building block of all life as we know it. You, me, all plants. All animals are carbon-based life forms. Other things are made of carbon, too. Diamonds are carbon, coal is carbon, even pencil lead isn't lead, it's graphite, which is carbon. If you were to take all the carbon atoms in your body, you could fill 9,000 pencils. Of course, I kind of prefer my carbon where it is. Our low-friction hover disk still had way too much friction. One of the problems that Russell mentioned is that the balloon just wasn't giving enough air. But then, Helena had the idea of using a leaf blower instead. The plan now is to make a leaf blower powered disc by starting with a big circle of wood, cutting a hole in the wood where the air will come through, and then covering the bottom with a tarp that has many holes cut out of it for the air to escape. Because leaf blowers are made to push lots of air, hopefully they'll be enough for me to ride it. Well, this is the business. That's Look at this. amazing. It's good, right? Oh, yeah, I love so, the tube. Yeah. You know, high volume of air through that. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's a dryer vent uh, that we, I just found it in the lab. And then this, of course, is, is leaf blower. 
Uh, so I get on here, and okay. then Helen, if you want to turn it on. Uh, yeah. So once we fire it up, the air coming out from the bottom of the disc raises me up, and I float on a cushion of air. I can't control it! Because the friction between the disc and the floor is so low, I end up floating wherever Helena and Russell push me. Amazing. Not too much control, though. I have no control <laughs> whatsoever. Yeah, no. But this is great. So the, the so we have the no friction yes. down pat. Uh, I feel we need some way to actually move. Well, uh, something to push you along. I was thinking as you were going, like you need like a broom or something. A broom. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What if we do? What if we do like something low friction, like a broom, and something high friction, like that that we could really sort of stick on the ground. Yeah. That yeah. Works for me. And then we could build we could build two of them and we would have two discs and two ways of moving them. <gasps> Are we going to race? And we can race. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Race. That's what we're going to do. <laughs>